Hi guys, hope everybody's doing fantastic. Um, today I'm going to attempt to take part in the um, improv tune or, you know, kind of by the back door um, Scout Crafter Challenge. You didn't really officially announce it, but I think everybody, I did want to do this, start this on uh, Sunday or Monday, but I've hurt my hands, so I'm going to try it today and see how we get on. Um, it's a pretty heavy pretty big old ball peen this i purchased this on sunday on the car boot for the challenge and it's a four and a half four and a half inch so it's a pretty chunky big old hammer this um, the handle feels reasonably tight and um, but it's not really the the best but i think it feels reasonably tight so i'm going to attempt to make this um a short hammer like scouts but not as good so i'm going to um yeah, so I'll mark that now. Um, so he said sort of seven, seven and a half inch. So we'll go there and then we'll get a radius on it. Something like that. Something like that. So, yeah, so that's marked up now. Um, I think this is going to be quite a big job, this one. Um, the grinds don't look the best. Um, has that got a weight on it? What does that say there? Something a one pound, one and four, three quarter pound, something like that. Not sure. Doesn't seem to have any um, names on it, but it's a pretty old, big old hammer. This, so I'll give it a go. Hopefully, when I come back, it will be um, slightly improved or certainly shortened. Anyway, all right. I'll see you in a bit. Here we go again. Back. Right guys, I've given it a sand and I've got rid of most of the marks off it. What I've decided to do is I'm going to give it a couple of coats of uh, Casey's True Oil um, gunstock finish 
uh, like Scout's Crafter does. And then I'm going to give it a go with the uh, pure shellac uh, French polish and I'll see how it comes out. All right, I'll see you in a sec. The Secrets of an Impatient Tool Restorer. <laughs> right guys, I'm going to give it the third coat and then I'm going to go with the shellac. So this is the third coat and the handle's a little bit hot because it's been under the uh, infrared heat lamp to dry because I'm a bit impatient. So when this is dry um, I'm going to go shellac. Right. Right, guys, that's had uh, three coats with about half an hour worth of drying time between each coat. So I'm just going to try and give it some of this uh, shellac and we'll see what that looks like. So remember what it looks like before. Right, so we're done. Um, I'm pretty pleased with how it's come out. Um, it was quite an enjoyable project. So thanks very much to to uh, John who's um, who's come up with this uh, challenge. Um, the actual wedge had had a few gaps in it, so I filled it with a bit of um, hardwood. Um, it was fine; it was solid, but I filled it with hardwood. It did have um, a name on it, but I actually took the name out um, to get a, a bit better finish on the actual uh, hammer. And um, the handle now is sort of seven and a half just under seven and a half inch um, and i have to admit john i think you're right it does it's not the same as choking up on a longer handle i mean this was the original handle and you can see the original handle was considerably longer so it was about 14 inches long this handle when it was original um, it's a really long one um, and i think it's come out quite nice um, I've give it two coats, uh, three coats of um, Birchwood's uh, True Oil Gunstock Finish, which gave it like a like a slight sheen, and then I've uh, give it two coats of shellac, and um, with about half an hour's drying time, um, I started this about uh, ten to ten this morning, and now it's twenty past three, so it's it's um it's been about five and a half hours. With all the drying time and the polishing, etc., the handle, the the um, heads come out quite good. Um, I've polished the actual seams, the actual the little, you know, and I'm really pleased how the head has come out, and um, because it's it's you know it's got no flats on it, which is good. And um, so this will be a nice little user now. So thanks again to John. Um, for the fantastic challenge it was a really enjoyable one quite a quick one you know a couple of hours and the, hand, the hammer was pretty much done apart from drying time and um, really enjoyed it it's come out pretty good and um, not yeah a reasonable sort of mirror mirror finish you can you can sort of see you know so it's a pretty good finish on it and um, probably shouldn't have polished that side because imagine it's gonna dent pretty easily but yeah, thanks again, John, for this fantastic challenge. Really enjoyed it. It's a good one. All right. Thanks to everyone who's got this far. And don't forget to leave a comment. All right. Thanks again. Bye.